as we have learned in our previous video, the fifth house is a very important house. Because first of all, it indicates those things which are very important in the life of the native education, childbirth, intelligence. And when you analyze a house, the Lord is equally important, right? You should distribute equal weightage to house, house, Lord and significator. In my analysis, I give slightly 10% less importance to the significator. But house, house, Lord is equally important is what I take. Right? So 40% importance to house, 40% importance to house, Lord. And 20% importance to significator is what I give. Now keeping this thing in mind, for the analysis of the fifth house, the analysis of the fifth Lord is also very important. Once again, as I told in the previous video, you cannot make conclusion just based on one factor. You have to see other factors also on which my previous videos have uh, a lot of content. So watch that, make notes and apply the principles accordingly. Coming to the fifth Lord, if the fifth Lord is weak, then the result I am going to tell you, the planet will not be able to give that result. Weakness arises out of combustion of a planet. If the planet goes into planetary war, then there is weakness and the planet is not able to give a result. Less than 100% point in schedule is another important factor which renders the planet weak. A strong planet will be able to give a result more prominently. The exalted Muldirgon Vargottam planet will be able to give a result more prominently. In this particular case, you say two houses are giving you contradictory results. So based on the strength of the house lord or strength of the house, you can decide the result of which house will happen. For example, say fifth lord in ascendant makes the person fortunate. Earlier I have told you ninth lord in eighth house makes the person unfortunate. Suppose someone is having ninth lord in eighth house and fifth lord in ascendant, then between this fortunate and unfortunate, what to tell? Based on whether the fifth lord is powerful or the ninth lord is powerful, you should tell the result. Along with that, if the planet is afflicted by the aspect or conjunction of a malefics or inimical planets, in that case, malefic result will be prominent. Whereas if the planet is with friendly planets and with beneficial planets, then good results will be there. In the case when I am not telling you good results, you should take negative results as good results, should convert them to good results. And when I am telling you good results, not bad results, in that case, you should convert the good result into bad result or unavailability of a good result itself is a bad result. So keeping this thing in mind, the interpretation should be done. Coming to the first thing, if the fifth lord goes into ascendant, the person is intelligent. Whatever the planning person will have, that will come true. His vision about the life and his ideas about if I do something, what it will result into will generally be true, which will make the native very successful. The native will be fortunate. The native will also be spiritual. Along with that, the native can also be a poet, author, a very good thinker. He will be writing books or being into fields related to education or spirituality will make the person very successful. Native will also have name, fame and status will have very good position in society and in his profession. He will be well respected by people in the society. He will be awarded, accomplished, honored. Sometimes the relationship can be father relationship with father can be tensed and the person may have to take the responsibility quite early in life. Generally such people come from humble backgrounds or even if they come from good backgrounds, they are generally endowed very early with responsibilities. They have to start working from very early ages. And this can, this you can say is a bad thing with this particular combination. But other than that, things are good. This is a beneficial setup. When the fifth Lord is going into second house, one will have traditional knowledge. So traditional knowledge of things such as astrology, Ayurved, this one will have. Generally, in such cases, it is very likely that one will choose the family profession. So this is like the son of a teacher becomes a teacher or person will inherit family profession. Right, like family business will be there and one will do that family business. One is also very fortunate in the matters of wealth. This is a wealth combination. This makes the native wealthy. 
the native will be wealthy native will be rich he will live a luxurious life the native will be either eldest or the youngest in the family native will be well supported by his family members also in this particular case the spouse can come from humble background and one will have to support their spouse a lot the spouse can also make some bad financial decisions which can be problematic for the native the relationship with siblings is not very good generally the spouse can be the only child the native can be the only child also in the case when the native is having more than one like one sibling or more than one sibling then these siblings may not help the native too much there will be good support from mother inheritance from mother one can also expect enemies will tend to disturb the native it is a combination for more than one marriage divorce or separation also relationship with father though is good but father is either largely absent or there is early demise of father professionally this person will be very successful and as i told you before the person will be rich also the person can suffer from eye related troubles and stomach related troubles leg related troubles feet related troubles can also be there fifth lord in third house one is well supported by their siblings and with the help of their siblings they progress much in life one will have difficulties in childbirth but eventually with proper medication and remedies one will be able to successfully have a child generally the plans and the ideas of the native will be successful native will be visionary can be very successful as an author in teaching field the native can be very successful the native have good business acumen also and he will be very successful in business as well native will be great risk taker and taking risk in financial matters will amply reward the native provided the fact that the sorry provided the fact that the combination is good and the fifth lord is not getting afflicted by other planets as such then the person will earn well from investments specifically risky investments will be very beneficial to the native earning from stock market investments into land property vehicle will be very good to the native native can work in the areas of social media and finance and all of these things along with that this combination also gives tension to the native the native can be overburdened with responsibility or the native will have multiple you know things to look after which will keep the mind of the native always busy this is also a combination where the person can be depressed for a certain period in their time so this is something that they should be careful about one will also be well supported by their family members in this particular combination it is very likely that one can take to their family profession and financial support from the family will also be there however the health of the mother behavior of mother can be problematic to the native and the native may not have much support from mother and the siblings of mother enmity will be there and the person will be disturbed by enmity competition jealousy in his professional life with respect to marriage fifth lord in third house is not a very good combination one can cheat their life partner also and the life partner also may lose interest in keeping up the marriage after some time provided the fact that the matchmaking is not good this combination is also like this combination will also give health problems is not very good for a smooth healthy life so that is also there but if the native is spiritual and have a regular spiritual practice of mantra chanting visiting to temples then many of these bad results can be easily mitigated the if the person is in job then the stability is questionable generally the person will either change jobs very frequently or because of competitions enmity jealousy in the professional sphere he will suffer much humiliation and difficulties in his professional life though money making is with difficulty and after taking risks but it is not a combination which completely denies the money making and the person can be fairly rich also if the fifth lord goes into fourth house in that particular scenario generally i have seen male natives will have difficulties in having children eventually if the planet is powerful in navamsha or otherwise powerful eventually they can have children for female natives fifth lord and fourth house is not a bad combination for childbirth they will get child they will have childbirth that's not an issue one gains 
good amount of money by investing into property and vehicle. One will also be academically very good. We'll have traditional knowledge of things such as astrology, etc. One will also have great skills. One will be talented. And using their skills and talents also one can earn fair amount of money. Agriculture related profession is also very suitable. The native will have good position and status in life. He will be much devoted to his homeland. Fifth Lord and fourth house, one should live in their homeland. Only then one is successful. Otherwise the problem can be, uh, you know, otherwise the success can be dubious. In this set, in this combination, the person will generally live a happy, contented life full of luxuries. Name, fame, status will be there. The person will have good status in their profession also, and the person will have good status in their society as well. With respect to the health of mother, this is not a very good combination. Mother herself can be struggling in life because of which the amount of love that one gets from their mother can be greatly compromised. Siblings will help the native whenever needed. There will be, sometimes there will be support from other family members also. But generally family members will not be in a situation to help the native as such. Native will be fortunate in the matters of lands and properties. Court case, litigations and fights. The person is successful in these things. But the native is not very easily successful. So eventually in enmity litigation, court case fights, eventually the person is victorious. But it will take much time to resolve these things. So it is better to avoid being into enmity or going into litigation and these things. The spouse will be successful in, the, in their own professional lives. This will be great support to the native. Generally in this combination, native does not keep very good health. Lifestyle related problems, diabetes, backache, etc. These things can be there. So this is something that the native should be careful about. One should have a regular mantra chanting practice. Otherwise, if the person is not resorting to mantra chanting, then other remedies may not work. Though the person is fortunate in the matters of land properties and vehicle, but in hand cash can be difficulty sometimes. So proper savings have to be maintained. Otherwise, in the time of distress, the native can be forced to take loans, etc. Fifth Lord and fifth house, the native is very successful, famous, is an achiever in life will enjoy good status in profession also, financially also, and in society as well. Native will be intellectual, will do good in fields related to knowledge, teaching, write, reading books, sorry, being a reader, being an author, researcher, these things will be good for the native. Native will be fortunate in the matters of children. First of all, he will have children. Secondarily, the children will be successful. They will support the native also. The young age of the native, specifically from the age of 26 up to the age of 60, the native will have good life. Very less disturbance will be there. Steady progress will be there. Person will do professionally well. There will be luxuries and enjoyments in life. This native will also be honored because he's having good status in society. It is a bit natural that he will be honored. And materialistically, he will be very, very successful. The plans and ideas of the native will work the way he wants. And whenever I say that the plans and the ideas of the native will work the way he wants, it also means that native can be very successful in investments. Provided the fact that the native does calculated investments, he will greatly benefit from it also. This is a very good combination to get money from stock market, lottery, etc. The native will keep good health, will get good inheritance from family. He himself will be beautiful, will be well supported by his siblings, will have multiple siblings, will get support, love and financial benefits from mother also. However, because of enmity and litigation, the person may have to lose things or face difficulties in life. The spouse will also be very successful and will come from a financially strong background, which will help the native. 
Native will generally have a long life. Native will be spiritual. He can work in uh, like his work will be with government. Either he can be a government servant or uh, through his work, he will be connected to government in some way or the other. The person will also get guidance of good gurus and provide and provided the fact that one follows the guidance of their guru, one will also be very successful. One will have good spiritual experiences also. And this person will hold a very strong position in his professional life. Professionally, this native is more than secure. It is the native is almost irreplaceable. When the fifth lord is going into sixth house, it is not a very good setup for health. The person generally suffers bad health problems related to stomach digestion. Eating is there. Nervous issues can also be there. Childbirth can be difficult. Specifically in women's horoscope, fifth lord and sixth house childbirth is difficult. In male horoscope, it is delayed childbirth. The, there can be enmity with child. So the child will, you know, consider you as an enemy or you will not be able to give much attention to the child, which will later on force them to consider, you know, which will force them later on to go against you. There's an enmity with child can be there and there will be enmity because of child also to save the child, the child must will commit something and to save him, the person have to go into a lot of troubles. So in this particular setup, good parenting is very essential, giving good samskaras, giving good samskar, giving good, uh, you know, intelligence guiding the child constantly is very much needed. Otherwise it can be problematic. This is not a very good setup for investments. One can lose good amount of money into investments. So it should be carefully done. Specifically the desire of earning money through stock markets, etc., is not good. One should focus on the particular uh, amount of money only that they are gaining from their profession. Right. And generally this is a combination which indicates that person can be a spendthrift. He will spend good amount of money, sometimes more than his income, which will often get him into financial difficulties. So this is something that he should be careful about. He should avoid it. The person will be supported by his family members. The person will also be loved by his siblings, but siblings are only able to love. They are not able to help you much. Other family members will be able to help you. Right. But because of the spendthrift nature, the native may lose, may not utilize the support by family members in a good way. Mother can have a difficult life. Mother can have challenging health and mother will not be able to give many things to the child many things to this native. So this will be there. The mother's love, care, attention is definitely missing in the horoscope of this person because of enmity and because of enmity, jealousy, court case litigations, there can be major losses in the life of the native. So one should not have enmity with people at all. In this particular combination, marital life is also disturbed. And the spouse can be troubled in her own life, in their own life, or can have some phobia from the past, which can disturb their marital life. Though this is a good combination for longevity and the person generally lives for long. And the father of the native can be very successful, which can be help, which will be very helpful for the native. The father will also have very prominent position in his profession because of which at least in childhood, the native will be well supported. The middle ages of the native between the age of 28 to the age of 55 is a struggle. Native can lose some very major opportunities. So one have to be careful about grabbing the right opportunity at right point of time. And one should be careful in careful in uh, expenditure. Fifth Lord, when it goes to the seventh house, as I always say, this is not a very good combination for marriage. So fifth Lord and seventh house, the person should not marry. If they are marrying, they should not produce child. Because first of all, growing up the child, first of all, just after marriage, there will be difficulties. There will be problems which are beyond your control, loss of job, financial difficulties, etc., etc. And after the birth of the child in childhood, growing up the child will be difficult because of other difficulties that you are already suffering in your marital life. And later on, when the child grows up, child, the settlement of the child will be another issue, another headache because of which in this combination, generally, we support 
generally i advise that marriage should be avoided if possible right in this particular case one can remain in companionship one can remain in relationship but formal marriage is something that is not very successful if the person wants to go for marriage then one should very very carefully do match making and choose proper muhurta and even after proper match making and proper muhurta you should understand the point that the combinations in the horoscope cannot be mitigated 100% right so you should be ready for the ups and downs that is going to be there the person will be owner the person will be respected will have good name fame status in the society the best remedy for this combination is to settle in foreign lands which will which will you know which will diminish the bad results by 20 25% at least the settlement in foreign land is good the professional life is full of ups and downs person can get bad name fame and person can also get defamation the social status of the person can be challenged because of enmity backbiting of people one can lose their job also professional life is not very stable though the person belong though the person belongs from a good family and can have a good financial backup but in the middle ages between the age of 30 to 50 person can suffer financial difficulties specifically related to investments and expenditure of money one should be very careful otherwise it can be problematic fifth lord in seventh house generally indicates that some spiritual practice in the family is discontinued whether the uh, ancestors have taken some pledge related to some deity or related to some temple that they have now forgotten to do or some spiritual practice was there in family which is now not continued by family members or some promise was made to a deity which is not fulfilled such a devadosham is indicated in this particular combination one should find out these problems and should rectify it if some practice is being discontinued one should continue the practice if some promise is unfulfilled one should fulfill the promise and this will come as a very great rescue in subduing the bad results of this combination that i have told right so this one should do this person though this person can be learned but they what i have seen they do not use 100% of their skills in their own life so this is a setup where you have knowledge you know everything but because you are not using in your life things are difficult right things are going bad so 100% users of intelligence always doing things after proper thinking and using all your skill sets which you can be ignorant about like while making decision you can forget two three things essential things that you can that you can implement while taking decisions and later on regret it so decisions should be taken with a cool calm mind and should be taken after proper contemplation only then it will be good otherwise you will you know you will think that why i did it hastily and problems will happen those siblings can be there but i don't think siblings are of much use in this particular combination the siblings cannot help the native much the native gets love support from mother and the mother's side of family this is a saving grace right but because of enmity competition jealousy loss of money is also there this combination is also not very good for health and generally because of health problems one is not able to do their profession and live their life efficiently so problems can be there serious problems can be there father generally in such cases is successful and well to do so mother father are good support but the native himself because he is not using his 100% of knowledge and because he is not managing his finances properly can create problems for himself so if the native remains careful about these things then this combination can be very beneficial for the native as well fifth lord going in eighth house not a very good setup not a very good setup for childbirth so childbirth can be delayed childbirth can be denied and if delay or denial is not happening like delay i mean significant delay like you are getting child at the age of 40 45 right so that you do not enjoy you know you do not enjoy much right first of all do not enjoy much means 
either you are not having child or you are having child very late in life right so that by the time the child is growing up you are already very old and not able to do many things with the child or the child is not successful in life they are more a responsibility over you and in this particular case child being a responsibility or child being a child being problematic to you will indicate that either the child is doing bad things having bad company of friends doing drugs etc or other health problems to the child can you know will be a difficulty for the child itself and because it will be a difficulty for the child it will be difficulty for you also right so these things will be there right along with that fifth lord in eighth house is not a very good combination for mental health this gives tension depressive tendencies right mental abnormalities this combination generally gives also in this particular combination first of all one is very suspicious so this suspicion is something that one should come out of anything even the smallest and simplest thing does not happen very will not happen very easily one will have to do a lot of multiple efforts to succeed into things one have to be very determined to do something achieve something only then one will achieve it after multiple tries only nothing will be successful in the first go multiple obstructions and delays are there in even the smallest things so that is there and suspicion that your life partner is cheating you your friends are cheating you someone is taking more money you are being neglected or someone is doing black magic on you or people are having enmity from you these things should not should be avoided if you think more about these things then it will hamper your progress and mental peace both so don't do that this is this is what i recommend the subconscious mind of the person can be very active because he is thinking about all of these things so better to be more practical and do meditation and other such things to keep your subconscious mind in control otherwise it can be problematic such person can be very tamasic in nature right eating non vegetarian food waking up late in the day uh, these tamasic tendencies can be there so control it that is good for you right otherwise mental tension and other bad results that i have told you that bad results will happen and it will not be good most importantly this person is also like the skills and knowledge and experience that this person is having he may he will not be using it in making decisions in life because of which he will regret later on so the same thing that i told previously that whenever taking a decision first of all think properly about it think about it with a cool and calm mind and only then take decisions otherwise this is not a very good setup one can also suffer a defamation false allegation one can suffer so be careful about it also court cases litigations going to jail can also happen in this particular combination so be careful about it as well the person is more inclined towards because tamasic nature is there person is more inclined towards doing bad things right this inclination should be controlled by imbibing sattva in nature otherwise if these thoughts are given attention then the person can do things which will land him into trouble stomach related issues digestion related issues excretion related issues nerves related issues can be there will be there so like do those things which are medically proven to avoid stomach related issues and all of these issues that i have mentioned one will be supported by their family members family members of the same gender for example say for male native female family members will support but male family members will not support for male native female mem family members will support male family members will not support so family members of the same gender will support family members of sorry family members of opposite gender will support family members of same gender may not support the native right so and so this will be there and generally in accumulation of ancestral property and all of these things one will have to go through litigations and court cases it can be significantly delayed the siblings are not of much help the relationship with siblings can also be tense specifically after the marriage of siblings though one will gain from mother and if one listens to the advice of their mother it will be good for them 
but apart from this court case and litigation that is happening in the ancestral things if you are really the one who should get this thing from their family who should get the inheritance from the family only then pursue it other because otherwise going into court cases litigations fights enmity will be problematic for you so only claim those things which you right easily deserve otherwise don't claim things it will be problematic the family members of the spouse will be well to do in life and they can also support you so this will come as a good support family members of spouse make sure to have good relationship with them the father of the native can have bad or tense professional life and the father himself can be suffering in his life so he will not be able to do much for the native but whatever he can do he will do it wholeheartedly the only thing is that the problems in the life of the father itself will stop him from helping you much the income or gain of money can be delayed sometimes it can be denied also so about finances one have to be very careful like talking properly about your payout and how the salary will be dispersed and all of these things should be kept in mind and one should not do those things which can be detrimental for money for example leaving the job in between not serving the notice period all of these things one should avoid these people are generally you know like acquiring securing a job is difficult if the person tries to do business then initially one two businesses can fail also so be prepared for it and as told before take decisions after proper thinking otherwise it will be problematic the fifth lord going into ninth house person will be spiritual person will be fortunate person will be happy person will live a life of enjoyment comforts and luxuries so this is very good daily visiting temple doing mantra chanting being spiritual is very good for the native the native will be intelligent learn it whatever decisions he will take whatever assumptions he will have he will be successful into it an expected gain of money through stock markets etc is also there the person will have good amount of inheritance good support from father he will be at a ruling position in his profession will be well supported by his gurus elders will benefit from government and people in government there can be problems related to legs the person can come from a humble family background so one will have to first give the give their financial earnings to the family to make them stable after that the native will be able to spend for himself but because the native will be very successful very rich very well to do and will have a good status in profession and society it will be easily done that's not much of a problem relationship with siblings will be good however the relationship with the spouse of siblings can be problematic but with siblings itself the relationship will be good mother can have a stubborn life mother can suffer in her own life because of which in your childhood the love care protection of the mother can be missing but in the later part of life mother will try to help you as much as possible one will also because of enmity competition jealousy and people plotting against you you can be tensed and troubled don't pay much attention to it and because you are fortunate and successful they will not be able to do much right but if you pay attention to enmity competition and uh, what people are doing behind your back then it will give you mental tension so it is better to avoid life partner comes from a humble background and life partner may have to struggle in her own personal in their own personal life say profession and relationship with their own family members but eventually life partner will also be professionally and societally successful and both the native and the life partner both will enjoy a good life in this particular combination it can happen that one can consciously or unconsciously you know hurt their life partner or get difficulties in their life so be careful of it right sometimes because of over protectiveness or because of over attachment you yourself can be a problem for your marriage or for your spouse so like keep this in mind and take and do things after proper thinking right keep yourself in your limits specifically related to marriage don't try to cross a line otherwise it can be problematic
generally in this case person is so successful that he can retire early in life also and in whichever organization he is working or whatever he is doing he will be a very major pillar of that like if the person is working in a company he will be a major pillar of the company if the person is doing business then the native will be a major pillar of business in the state and this indicates success only and the person will be very successful fifth lord and 10th house is a raj yog so you are successful in life you have good name fame status recognition is there you are irreplaceable in your profession one of the top person in your professional life social life financially very successful owned in the society many people listen to you many people follow you many people work under you good name fame status is there people take you as their godfather all of these things are there this person should be spiritual should do worship visit temples etc because much spiritual power is also seen with this particular combination the person can be interested in astrology can be very successful in astrology and other related science predictive sciences one can be very successful into it in fact in spirituality person will be like a siddha person any remedy mantra etc they give it will be very helpful to people so that is very very good one will have very good status in their professional life one will be very successful earn a good earn very good amount of money problems related to legs can be there one will be well supported by their family members also will get good amount of inheritance will get good support from family members siblings are not much supportive mother can suffer in life there will not be much support from mother mother can suffer in her own life so because of which whatever problem is there say if the mother is suffering in her life that means in your childhood because mother herself is suffering she will not be able to give much care attention to you so that thing will be there but other than that inheritance etc from mother side also one will get for child birth this combination is a little bit problematic so it indicates delayed child but if the fifth lord is powerful it promises the child for sure in male horoscope it promises a male child for sure in female horoscope it indicates child for sure but it will be delayed that is very certain and if the like for child in the horoscope of both the partners if in both the horoscopes the combination is difficult then it can be denial of child birth also one have to do remedies in both horoscopes if it is denial it is a pure denial in both horoscopes if it is easily getting child one will easily get child in one horoscope it is easily getting child in another horoscope it is difficult child in that particular scenario doing some remedies will help so if you are having 10th lord or the 5th lord in 10th house you have to make sure that your spouse is not having this combination because then both will have this particular setup which will make having child even more difficult right other than that the person will be visionary will be well learned very skilled one can have multiple professions also unexpected gain of money through investments stock market etc will be there the person will be over skilled for his profession if i may say because of which he will always all, almost be irreplaceable one will have very active professional life till then till the end of their life and along with that the person will also be you know like he will be requested by others to continue working he will be so good in his profession that he will be a he will be someone whom his family members will be proud of between his friends and siblings and society members he will be most successful of them all right this person will be very successful in competition enemies will suffer himself enemies will suffer themselves themselves so enemies may try to disrupt your professional life but don't pay much attention to them they will automatically be destroyed all by themselves only and so that's not much of an issue the spouse will also come from good fine good background good financial background good sanskaras will be there to the spouse the spouse themselves can have multiple properties and vehicles the spouse will also be very happy and the spouse will also be very popular and prominent person in their own life this combination is good for longevity also generally this person lives for long 
he will get good support from his father can get inheritance from his father's side father's lineage also in his profession he will be connected to government he will have a good guru and guide good guru to guide him also the person will be very very intelligent interested in reading and learning this person 10th fifth lord and fourth house fifth lord and fifth house fifth lord and ninth house fifth lord and 10th house in all these cases person is a good reader avid reader person continues to read in life intellectual person basically the person is intellectual one will also have research bent of mind in making tabulations presentations person will be very excellent right good name fame and status will be there and life is full of luxuries and full of conveniences multiple servants and multiple people are there who will work any who will do anything for you just on your singular command so very good setup fifth lord in 11th house one of the most like one of the best combination for wealth is this the person will be very wealthy and because the person is wealthy he will be fine professionally very successful multiple professions can also be there professionally he will be in a good position so that's why he will be very rich right major money you earn from your profession only other than that because riches is indicated investments etc will also be very good for the native earning from stock market and through investments will be there because there is a riches combination so all those things which leads to riches that can be done that should be done that will be there in the life of the native right the native will be honored awarded acclaimed respected will have good social contacts people will come to him from long distance to meet him talk with him native because native will be very uh, you know native will be very famous native will be very skilled native will be very prominent like native will be like a celebrity right so that is that is something very good native will be very accomplished he will be a pride to his parents pride to his community pride to his family will be well supported by his family members also will get good inheritance mother's health can be problem mother can suffer in her life right but eventually he will be proud for his mother as well siblings will well support siblings will be supportive right though the person may have enmity because you are successful people will be jealous of you but don't pay attention to them they will automatically be destroyed right the spouse will also be very good will have very good sanskaras will have good upbringing the spouse will also be very spiritual the spouse will be very learned well acclaimed doing things as per the advice of the spouse taking active advice of your spouse in your professional life social life while doing investments will prove to be very successful for you the spouse herself the spouse himself herself will be very lucky and they themselves will have very good professional and social life and will come from good background also so there will be support from the spouse side as well health will be good the native will live long the native will be spiritual however proper spiritual guidance he may not get so in spirituality he have to work himself can be cheated by gurus so be careful while giving your 100% dedication to someone in this case person have to be their own guide they have to guide themselves right so this is something that they have to do they will be supported by fathers and even the siblings and other people in the lineage of the father in the family of the father will also support the native because everyone will be proud of the native they will support the native also native will be very intelligent great visionary will be first of all intellectual whatever plans he makes whatever assumptions he make that will work the way he wants giving him more success he will achieve things easily in life will have much comforts conveniences multiple servants to work will rule over many people the life will be very easy full of luxuries full of enjoyment that's not much of an issue and childbirth also will be very easy the person can easily get a child and not only the native will be successful his child will also be very successful native will be proud of his child and children will be able native will be successful of his children and children will support the native as much as they can like the level of support children should do they will do also that's not a problem very good setup fifth lord going into 12th house not a very good setup for childbirth it's not like one will not be able to have a child one should not have a child because child first of all can have physical problems childbirth will be denied if the planet is well afflicted and weak if not afflicted and weak then it will be delayed 
after delayed there will be separation from child so you can lose your child somehow or there will be separation because of child is living in some other country and a child is getting education in some other country then lives there only right so because of this reason separation will be there that one will be tensed because of their child right so either the child is not well settled or the child is not doing good things in life doing drugs is into bad company these things will also make you tensed about the child other than that child can be completely ignorant of you will not listen to you right so because of all of these bad things related to child fifth lord and 12th house it is a best it is best not to have a child right otherwise it is problematic only right shame and problems and tension because of child will be there so better not to have a child that is good other than that fifth lord and 12th house native will be interested in astrology palmistry numerology and other things which helps one predict and see future the native will be intellectual will love, will love reading will spend on books will have great fan following the native will be visionary very intelligent will have a very active subconscious mind will have very great ideas in life will have a research bent of mind and a research bent of mind and his ideas will generally be very revolutionary people will be fan of people will appreciate his ideas his thoughts and his inputs greatly right he will be very acclaimed in his research and all the ideas that he presents will be well applauded by people not very good for health it gives a stomach related problems digestion related problems food related problems to the native eating related problems to the native the native will get good support from family will get inheritance also will be well supported by their siblings as well however siblings can settle late in life so siblings will support but the support from siblings will only come in the later parts of life not in earlier parts of life much attachment will be from mother one will be supported by mother and mother and mother side of family will give much love support and care to the native one can be disturbed because of enmity and who are his enemies who are plotting against him one does not know so hidden enemies are there but these enemies will create significant losses to the native but in any case one should not go into fighting with enemies otherwise there can be significant loss of money time and mental peace if one ignores enmity altogether it is well and good specifically enmity with females can be very problematic the spouse can suffer in their own life some wishes and desires of the spouse may remain unfulfilled which can make the spouse frustrated and which can you know make the spouse suffer in their personal life it right? there uh, because of difference of opinion fights with life partner can also be there and generally the mentality of the native and the life partner may not match with each other because of which there can be problems and the spouse in their own life can be tensed and can be in a difficult situation can be in a condition of dilemma so in this particular combination it is very necessary that you support your life partner care for your life partner wholeheartedly and it is very necessary not to let your difference of thought and thinking come in between your relationship otherwise it will be problematic fifth lord and 12th house is also it gives long life to the native but health is not very good and one health problem or the other is always there making the you know like making the person less efficient in whatever he does right so because of health problem he will not be able to concentrate for long or do things for long or repeatedly so that is there this can also make the native lazy so one should be punctual right if one becomes lazy in this combination then their mental power mental skill and all of these good things about mentality and thinking that i told you can be missing which can be problematic for the native so this you will keep in mind and one will be well the father will be spiritual father can have spiritual siddhis one will get spiritual mantras etc spiritual guidance from father the father will be supportive also father will love you as well and will try to do everything that he can do for you one will get good support from government also however because of enmity or bad verbal arguments with 
people in government, there can be problems in life. One should follow some religious sect, should get initiated into some religion, some religious sect. One should follow a spiritual guru wholeheartedly. That will be one of the best remedy in this particular combination. This combination also can make one spend thrift. So expenditure of money should be done judiciously. Otherwise it can be problematic. This was the result of fifth Lord in all the 12 houses. And I have covered all the major areas. Other things are also there, but major themes I have covered. Now one more thing is there with respect to child. And in the previous video also, I covered with respect to child and how to predict the number of children and the gender of children and all of that. With respect to number of children, one more formula that I have seen working greatly. I will share in this particular video. Before that, as per fifth Lord in different houses, you can also know the education that the native will have. Right. And in my video related to 10th house, I have covered the education profession, education related to all the 12 houses. So watch that video and based on that video, the placement decode the placement of fifth Lord in different houses and the education given by that house where the fifth Lord is situated in will be the education of the native or the skill of the native that one will use very prominently in their profession. So that you should do. Now coming to the childbirth, first of all, you should understand the starting of Navamsh. You will take the fifth Lord. If the fifth Lord is in Aries Sagittarius or Leo, the Navamsh will start from Aries. Fifth Lord in Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Navamsh will start from Capricorn. Fifth Lord in Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Navamsh will start from Libra. Fifth Lord in Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Navamsh will start from Cancer. Now in Navams, check the position of fifth Lord and count from the Rashi where the Navams starts right to the position of fifth Lord in D9. Now the Navams is starting Rashi like the Rashi of the fifth Lord is D1 Rashi. I will give you an example. For example, if you take this horoscope. In this particular horoscope, see two, three things are there. First of all, calculation of Navash, you understand it properly. Who is the fifth Lord, right? I will be teaching you technique also illustrating it at the same point of time. So be careful. Who is fifth Lord? Fifth Lord is Mars. This Mars is situated in Libra Rashi. Navash will start from Libra only. From Libra, Mars is in the fourth Navansh, right? Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Mars is in Capricorn, it is in fourth Navansh. Four Navansh means three Navansh the planet has completed. So take this number three. In this three Navansh, subtract the number of Malefic. Malefic from the starting of Navansh. So if you see the Navansh started from La Rashi Libra, then it went to Scorpio, then it went to Sagittarius, indicating three children. In this one Malefic Sun is here, so subtract one. The Mars fifth Lord is a Malefic itself, subtract one more. The answer is three minus two is equal to one. That means the native will have one child. Now you have subtracted Sun and because fifth Lord is a Malefic, you have subtracted the fifth Lord also. Now which planet remains? From the starting of the Navash to the Navash occupied by fifth Lord. Only one planet remains. That planet is Jupiter. And what is the gender of Jupiter? The gender of Jupiter is male. So native will have one child that will be male child. Why one child? Because fifth Lord have gone into four Navamshas. It is in the fourth Navash. So he have gained three Navamshas. Three Navamsh we have taken. Then we have subtracted the number of Malefic. 
two malefics are there up to the Navansh where fifth lord is situated in. Fifth lord will already be in the Navansh. So we are subtracting the fifth lord. Three minus two answer will be one. And this one child will be indicated by Jupiter because we have already subtracted Sun and Mars. This one child will be signified by Jupiter and because Jupiter is a male, it will indicate male child. Now one more thing is there. Who is indicating the child? Jupiter is indicating the child. That means what? It means that in the horoscope of the child, because Jupiter is indicating the child in the horoscope of the child, Jupiter should indicate the native because in the horoscope of the father, Jupiter is indicating the child. So this is the horoscope of the child. And as you see, child is born in Sagittarius ascendant itself, the ascendant of Jupiter. So this planet who is indicating the child as per the Navansh of the native will be a very prominent planet in the Navamsh of the, in the horoscope of the child. Right. So this is the most accurate method to predict the number of children, gender of children. The previous technique is my research technique. This is a classical technique modified by my researches. You should use both the techniques and only after using both these techniques, you should come to a conclusion. And this way you should predict about child, right? Remaining the analysis of the fifth house and how the fifth Lord behaves in all the 12 houses, I think is very clear. Watch this video over and over again, make notes, carefully make notes, try to understand the meaning of words. What is being told, what is not being told and what is being presented in between the lines, understand that properly. And then you will be able to make very good predictions. That is for sure. Thank you.